Hi, and welcome to the screencast for the week two workshop on M+. This week, we are going to review uh, access to M+. We're going to go through the remote desktop. I'll mention briefly something about their demo version. We're going to have a quick refresher on the 10 command names. And then I'm going to give you step-by-step -step coverage of the commands with demonstrations of data, syntax, and output. And so there are going to be four different demos. One, uh, the first uh, three, I'm sorry, the first two use the same data. The fifth demo number, so demo three and four use the same data. Uh, demo five uses different data and demo six does not use data. It is a Monte Carlo, so it simulates data. Here are the 10 commands of M plus, uh, title, data, variable, define, analysis, model, output, save data, plot, and Monte Carlo. And just a reminder that there are defaults for all of these that you don't always have to use each one of them. If you want to get in the habit of always starting every implus syntax with putting those in, that's fine. It's, it's fine to just have Monte Carlo colon and nothing there. Um, it implus won't do anything if you put that there. So um, that's always a good place to start. For this week, these are my resources. Uh, I'm using uh, some materials from Data Analysis with M Plus by Christian Geiser. Um, a file, um, I've updated a file that I found on the internet and that was that is what I'm using for our outline for today. And uh, then uh, there's always a lot of great materials on stat model and that's the M Plus website. And I always want to try to put, give you a few helpful hints because we are learning how to run models in M+. Plus. Uh, at this point in time, I'm not giving too many variable definitions, um, and I'm definitely not interpreting uh, the output. Uh, it, right now, we're just trying to figure out how to get this uh, Lamborghini or Ferrari or, you, you, or uh, Tesla, whatever you want to call it, up and running and figure out how to to, to open the windows and close them and put it in gear and all that stuff. We're not worried about our destination just yet. And just a reminder that uh, the M Plus User's Guide is a really valuable resource. Uh, chapters 1 and 2 give a lot of background information and general information. 3 through 14 are very specific uh, sections on the modeling techniques. And 15 19 through 19 give uh, a lot of detail on the specifics for each of the commands. Uh, stat model also contains the data input, output, and simulation input files for all examples in the user guide, and that's a really great resource. Oops, sorry. Um, and um, it, once again, it's very important to know the defaults for each type of model. The model defaults may not accurately reflect what you think, uh, what either you've written down or you have in your mind for the model specification. And this may not be apparent unless you dig into the details. So I always recommend that you make sure whatever model you're doing, that you figure out what the defaults are. Um, and if you need to change them, you can change them. Um, and uh, I'm not sure if I said this directly, but it will not read in string data. If, so if you have alpha or special characters, you need to take get rid of those in your, um, in your data. Um, these are the example data sets that we're going to be using this week. We're using the KFT data, uh, which contains data from 455 German high school students who were tested with a German intelligence test battery. Um, and the, the variables refer to uh, verbal achievement scores, quantitative achievement scores, and nonverbal achievement scores. I have that data set in .dat uh, format. I have it in a CSV format, and I also have it in a summarized format. And we will, I will go through and show you how to read in each of those. And then um, the last one is uh, x4.1a.dat, and that's a, a, a simulated data set from stepmodel.com. And uh, we're going to use that for one of the examples. And uh, once again, throughout the workshops, if you have any questions, please contact me. I am uh, available a lot of time via Zoom. Um, but it's also in person on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Thank you very much. Now it's time to run in plus.